Ooh, everything currency this is a show where we talk about everything crypto and mo i'm your host jay and today i want to make a quick video for you guys showing you guys two things how to remove those stupid little coins that you added to your metamask wallet that you don't have any coins on but now it's just making your list super long and you want to take them off and i want to talk to you guys a little bit about so when you interact with a smart contract on metamask as you know you have to pay to get the approval to allow that contract to use your coins maybe to spend your ethereum or to stake your ethereum or to move your dos from this contract to that contract and what you don't realize is that there are times where you're giving that contract unlimited amount of access to do things in your wallet and i'm going to show you that there's two websites on how to revoke that access from some of those sites that might be or could still have access to your wallet because if you invested into a rug pull or something like that which a lot of people have you don't want those contracts to still have access to your account because once somebody figures out how to move that money out they will because that's just what they do they're scammers you know what i mean so we want to protect ourselves in all ways possible so with that being said the links in the description for the ledger as you know you can connect your ledger to your metamask and make it so you have to hit the approve button on this little thing before you do anything which makes it a lot simple somebody can't just do it through the software you have a piece of hardware that protects you in case any of that happens so first things first I have open right here the brave browser I'm gonna go into my metamask wallet that I have right here this is the teacher wallet there's a little bit of ethereum in here about 32 bucks and I have all these coins like lend and sushi and agi that i added but never actually added to this wallet and you can see they don't have anything in here and i'm like a lot of people are wondering how to remove these coins you know so it's very simple click on the coin come right here to the three dots which is the you know the settings menu and click hide hide agi are you sure you want to hide it you will have to add it again if you want to bring it back yeah let's hide it then there it goes it's gone so i'm going to click on this one again click right here hide sushi boom it's not showing up right there anymore so very simple to do that easy to hide those coins off your wallet once you added them a lot of people were wondering how to do that a lot of people were uh, asking me in the comments but let's take that a step further and i want to say shout out to crypto and culture for putting me onto this because he made a video about it and i was like huh you know what that's actually something that i was just thinking about how do i revoke access back from those sites and those contracts, those smart contracts that I allowed access to on my wallet. There's two sites. So the first one is revoke.cash and you can see right here, it already connected to my wallet instantly. And it shows that I have a link, die, dandy, DOS, and link. Also the Uniswap V2 that I'm allowing access to this um, wallet right here. And you can revoke access to any of them. I had a couple other contracts in here that I already revoked access to and you can do that but there's another one that takes it a little bit step farther which is this TAC token allowance checker right here and what you can do is go click right here to connect wallet be signed into your metamask or whatever wallet already um connect your wallet hit next connect check allowances so this check actually takes a little bit longer um, which it does a little bit more of a scrub into there, which I like that. So I'm just going to let it go ahead and do it and I'll be back when it is done. All right. So we are back on tech.dapstar.io and I connected my wallet and you can see here that look, Ave interest bearing token allowances unlimited. Um, last change was on September 25th when I first did this and then you can see right here the the link token It's allowed on the YZAP vault the uniswap router blah 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 So you pay money when you do these like when you allow these these platforms to interact with your tokens so you probably Wouldn't mind like for uniswap. I wouldn't mind having unlimited but other things like I said Maybe sushi swap maybe some other stuff that you don't like anymore You can remove access from that. So like when I take out my link from here, I might want to remove access from Ave and and withdraw My stuff like that and you can edit the allowances and stuff like that, but check out so I'm gonna put these links in the description I want you to go through and 
go through your wallet and just see what you are giving unlimited access to and if anything in there is still is like fishy or, or a project that you're like uh, no, 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 no. i want you to check that out so real quick video just to give you guys a heads up on that just to help some people out with the meta mask and the stuff like that so what we went over real quick remove the coins easy click here hit the three dots remove the lend and then you can come to revoke.cash or tac.dapstar.io and remove or revoke allow uh, allowances that you allow to interact with your wallet at any given point given point in time so like subscribe turn on post notifications hope this people hope this helps some people out um, ask me questions if you got those till next time peace